The Mountain River is a fast-flowing river of the Yukon-Mackenzie Divide. It lies in a state of true wilderness in the subarctic of Canada's Northwest Territories. My brother Ted and I, along with his girlfriend Heather and my wife Tori, have wanted to paddle this wilderness river for years. The four of us were finally able to put this trip together, and we brought my dog Buck along for the journey too. Our adventure starts in the community of Norman Wells, Northwest Territories, where we board a float plane, and after a long flight, we're deposited at a small mountain lake. There goes our plane. Shit just got real. We're all alone out here. Super excited. This is going to be awesome. Got all our gear, got our ladies ready to start eating some brekkie and uh, pack up and head out. Yeah, now this feels good, eh guys? We got 300 kilometers of wild, wild wilderness river to paddle. So we just finished our portage from Willow Handle Lake to Push Me Pull You Creek. It was pretty tough because we packed really heavy for this trip. Got a lot of camera gear. We haven't eaten any of our food and we're just about to put into Push Me Pull Me and we're going to head to Blackfeather Creek where we're hoping to camp tonight. It's called Push Me Pull You Creek because you gotta push the guy in front of you and pull the guy behind you. Doing it. We're doing it guys. Yeah. It's about 9.30, it was another 2K to Blackfeather Creek and we decided we should make camp because we're all tired and hungry. Well, it is 1 a.m. Still really bright out, starting to get cold and we're hanging around the fire and all of a sudden we looked at the clock and said, holy shit, it's already midnight. We're just putting the food barrels away right now. We're taking them a good stretch away from camp and just kind of leaving them there. We think we'll be fine. And we're gonna hit the hay. I had a great day. Uh, what about amazing you? It was day. pretty tough though. It was tough, but very rewarding and amazing. This is Heather's first trip and she did so good today. I'm very proud of her. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Night. <laughs> Today is an absolutely gorgeous day, but it's not doing good for old Ted. Apparently he has just a ripping migraine headache and he's just sleeping in his tent. It's 12 noon right now and so we're wondering if we're going to be able to make it anywhere today, but basically we're just going to kind of wait around till Ted's better. One of the things you want to have on you when you're paddling wild whitewater rivers is a survival kit. Fishing line and hooks, soft baits, a lighter magnesium strip, large ferro rod, whistling flares, water tabs, 550 pound test parachute cord, a good compass, trail tape, comms, this is a satellite communication device, snare wire, an emergency blanket, signal mirror, fire starter or tinder. I keep all that on me waterproofed in a fanny pack. That way, if I lose the canoe in a rapid and my entire outfit's gone, I'll have what I need on me to survive around my waist all the time. Ready for the river. It is pretty freaking chill here, even though we're getting a little behind schedule. Surrounded by gorgeous mountains everywhere and a really nice warm day, so no bugs either, which is awesome. Well, it looks like Ted is feeling a little better. Hopefully his painkillers have kicked in and we are going to pack up and see how far we can get. Still have a headache, still pretty bad, but we're gonna try to get some kilometers. We're a little behind schedule, but that's fine. We'll catch it back up. We do all we can with the time we have left. Luckily, it doesn't really ever get dark, so that gives us a much bigger window. Yeah! Blackfeather Creek, we did it! Okay, we're gonna eddy out on the left here, okay? Well, this looks like a tricky part of the river here coming up in a really tight, cool looking canyon, but we're just gonna go have a closer look at it. The current is super fast. 
and very pushy so there's not a lot of room for air you could lose a boat and also dumping in the canyon here is kind of scary because it's not easy to get out so it can mean for a long chilly swim Boulders current. Tori and I were able to get out of there. A bit of a tricky situation, not really a horribly dangerous one or anything, but. We almost pinned our boat. It's terrifying. We're gonna keep trying to stay on our toes here. Blackfeather Creek uh, seems to be full of surprises. And here is a braid of the Mountain River. And here is where Blackfeather Creek enters it. So we made it to the mountain. Yeah, mountain river. We were scared. A little bit of fear is always good. Keeps you on your toes. So here we are on the mountain river at Cache Creek. You guys are doing a little bit of fishing. Yeah. Got an Arctic grayling. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Ted's caught another fish! Woo! It's a beautiful Dolly Varden trout. Gorgeous. Yeah! That's a uh, Dolly Varden char caught on a number one map spinner. I am going to do a little bit of a Dolly Varden barbecue. Okay, so there's our butterfly fish. Now I'm gonna splay it out using a special method that's used by the natives of the Pacific Northwest. So I got eight sticks about 10 inches long and probably be best if they're cedar, but this is willow and it's just fine too. And I'm gonna roast it over the fire. And wait till you see you put on your sunglasses because it's gonna be blindingly delicious. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. So today is day six. Last night we camped at what is marked on the map as Great Campsite Island. Camping itself was not so great. We had to move a bunch of boulders. However, the view is amazing. I haven't told anyone yet, but I'm planning on proposing to Heather this trip. <laughs> We're just on the show alone, and we won. And so we got a big check coming our way. Yeah! I'm not exactly sure where it's gonna go down. I'm gonna try to find that little like perfect threshold where like she's feeling happy and I'm feeling happy and it's like a special moment and uh, that's when I'm gonna do it. Oh no, this is it, Ted. Let's pull over. Well, here we are at a place called Moonscape and we could see it from a ways up river and it looks like a moonscape. We're gonna go check it out. We are at the very cool Moonscape on the Mountain River and it's absolutely spectacular. We just pulled over, had lunch and we're gonna explore this moonscape because that's what it really looks like, is a moonscape. It's unbelievable. I actually heard some uh, ground squirrels making some noise around here, and I'm gonna try to kill one and eat it. Come here, Bach, good boy! Bach was just ripping through the forest and just caught this ground squirrel. That's so impressive. We have our small games tags, and we're allowed to eat these, so we're actually gonna cook these up for dinner. Caught one. 
and it sounds like Jim just got one as well. Looks like we're eating ground squirrel tonight, guys. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spit roast them. What you wanna do is you wanna make some kind of a fork system that will enable the spit to turn with the animal. So the pieces I'm gonna use for this spit are two fork sticks, and these are gonna support the spit. A spit like this, as straight as you can find, and green, that way it won't burn as easy. And I'm gonna make a couple of large size toothpicks and that'll be our fork. I'm just gonna stab it through this back of the shoulder blade like that. I'm gonna stab it through the hind quarters. There we go. We got our ground squirrel roasting up on the fire on a spit. And since we do live in the modern world, we have seasoned salt we can throw on. Look at this. This is just absolutely spectacular. We're here on the mountain river in the Mackenzie Mountains. We just pulled up to one of the canyons and man is it mind-blowingly beautiful. We got Tupa Springs here, beautiful creek with awesome fishing, a mind-blowing canyon. And I'm just loving this spot. Great weather, can't ask for more. I'm having such a good time. Look at that watercolor, dude. Pretty amazing. God, we have some unbelievable news. I just see them like hugging and kissing and it seemed very like emotional and romantic. I realized Heather's crying and she's wiping away tears and I was just like, they mu they're standing in front of this beautiful waterfall and like he must have asked her to marry him. Oh like that's the only explanation. God. I don't even know, let's go find out. Let's see that rock. Dirty Holy Holy look at that thing. Me and Spaghetti Moose are engaged, yay! But seriously, yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you. We're gonna have a toast to Ted and Heather's newly engagement. New engagement. Yay. It's very exciting. Yay! Yay. 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 Tether! Yay! Tether! Yay! The mountain river. Day seven, and we're camped here at Cache Creek. And today we're heading into this canyon. It didn't look like there's anything too crazy, but our river notes say there's some whirlpools in there and some big standing waves. So we're pretty concerned because if you dump in a canyon, you have to swim the whole thing. There's no getting out because the sides are just sheer cliffs running right down into the water. So they can pose a serious threat. White water is just hard enough, you know? Double rainbow! <laughs> so Heather and I have researched this trip for like 10 years, but one of the things that we're super excited about was this battleship rock, and Heather was all excited, and we get here, and there's a freaking double rainbow over it. Couldn't be more beautiful at the entrance to this unbelievable canyon. It just keeps getting better out here and can't have a double rainbow with a little rain. Turn that frown upside down, everybody. Woo! Woo! We have our own 
beavers here. They built a dam and they're just kind of hanging out in there. So we see beavers every once in a while. And I notice a cave way up in the mountain there. Could be a portal to another universe. Who knows?